What transformation happening to 2024 Dodge Durango? Although the Durango has been loyal to its design for more than 10 years, it's still exciting to learn the new updates of the 2024 Dodge Durango. Rumor has it that there is a possibility that this line would be made into a full-size ride so it can compete against Chevy Tahoe solidly. And since Dodge wants to make sure they only provide the best and also the sturdiest vehicle that can tackle off-road situation flawlessly, they have their own manufacturing plans. One of them is to likely share the manufacturing architecture with the Wagoneer if possible. About Durango in general, the current architecture of Durango dated back to the 2011, where it also shared platform with Jeep Grand Cherokee. That's why it manages to stay strong in the harsh competitive modern world, able to pass current safety regulations, offer convenient three-row arrangement, and maintain modern style. As if it weren't enough, the Durango is able to stay athletic, solid, and firm, keeping the updates with the latest release in techs. The car even has Hellcat V8 unit for puncher performance. The new updates. The new and the future. Jeep Grand Cherokee is constructed on all-new WL platform. They even courageous enough to offer Grand Cherokee L a long wheelbase one with its three rows arrangement meant to accommodate more people in a more comfortable manner. It's only logical if people start expecting Dodge Durango to follow Jeep's footsteps. It's said that Dodge will share the architecture after they are done with the 2023 Durango, and then they will also share manufacturing space at their Jefferson North Assembly plant located in Detroit, Michigan. But all of these are still rumors. We need to wait for Dodge's official confirmation concerning their 2024 Dodge Durango manufacturing timeline. On the contrary to the previous rumors, some sources say that the Durango should be manufactured together with Grand Wagoneer and Jeep Wagoneer at their manufacturing plant at Warren Truck Assembly Plant, which is around 20 minutes northern side of Detroit. If this is true, then the new Durango would be constructed with body-on-frame structure with full-size adoption. It also means that the vehicle would be competing against Ford Expedition and Chevy Tahoe, considering the significant increase in the size. Full-size benefits. The company believes that the new size as well as the new architecture will bring a lot of benefits to the overall performance of the vehicle. They believe that the next-gen Durango would need it, especially if it can help with interior space improvements, improved hauling abilities, and also better towing abilities. Powertrain and performance. It is said that the new Durango would have various options for the engine. The current one is coming with V8 Hemi of 5.7-liter unit that churns out 392 horsepower, while the Grand Wagoneer has the bigger unit, the 6.4-liter capacity that generates 471 hp. Both of them are coming with auto 8-speed transmission. However, Dodge is introducing the new Hurricane. It is an inline 6-turbocharged unit with 3.0-liter capacity. Dodge claims that this powertrain is able to deliver different outputs, but the first version, which is in Wagoneer, is able to generate 500 horsepower max. It's still unknown the output for the future Durango. Conclusion the future Durango seems promising, but with the limited information, we can only speculate. Hopefully, more information about 2024 Dodge Durango would be available soon enough.